the goblet is the next uh, assignment. The creation of the goblet itself is actually relatively easy. It's making it transparent that's kind of the tricky part that we haven't really looked at before. Okay, starting here. So in the creation of the goblet, the basic idea is you're going to create kind of a block with a series of extruded pieces that come out. Um, and then you basically scale out particular ones to create the basic shape of the goblet. This part here, what you're doing is you extrude up, pull the points in a little bit, and then push it back down inside of the goblet. So this is kind of the general shape of what you're going to get when you're all done with that. Um, I'm not going to go over that part. That's all been done before. Smoothing is a very similar idea to what we've had before, where you actually subsurface this guy. Um, the transparency. This is an old tutorial. This is the way that Blender used to look, and it was kind of terrible. Where transparency is located now is in the material section. If I have a new material, transparency is down here in this section. So most of the things that you're going to be looking at deal with this. You'll have to turn on transparency and set up your various commands here. One other thing to watch out for, when you're trying to render the scene, you'll only see transparency when you actually do the rendering itself. So, well, I don't really have uh, things for it to see on the other side, nor have I said all of the various things that are part of the specularity here. So a lot of these things that it's going to talk about in here are within this section here. Alpha generally is the transparency of a material. That's how see-through it is. Yeah, you can kind of see through it. I would need something on the other side to be able to tell. But this is the basic one. Um, you can set the various colors as well to make it so that your particular material has... This is the basic color, so that's up above. That's this main diffuse color up here. Here's your specular color. Uh, there's shading if you want it. Um, I don't think he deals with subsurface scattering, but that's another thing that you can add in as well. Uh, one thing that I want you to note, this picture down here, that final result is not done in the tutorial. Your project will not look like that when you are all done. He has added multiple lights that are not in the tutorial, the coloring, the shading. There's a number of other things that he's put into this. So your goblet will look much more basic than this. In fact, here's an example. Here we go. Here's an example that works pretty well. So this particular one, he's got his camera upside down. Here's the uh, goblet itself. Uh, materials are all set up in here with the transparency. And when you look through it, it looks kind of like this. So you can see through it. It is transparent. Obviously, it doesn't look like the picture.